Greetings traders, this is Neil with Option Theory again. It is Friday, October 23rd. Your cherry bomb trade is in for today. We're going to be doing this trade from an iPad because a viewer put a comment in and I want to thank them for leaving me a comment and they were hoping to see us do some trades using an iPad. Ironically, I, that thought had never occurred to me. Uh, so we're going to give it a whirl. So if you're ready, we'll fire up your iPad, iPhone, some mobile app. You don't actually have to. You can do the trade however you want. I think that's kind of the cool thing, right? No matter your device, you can get these trades on. You can practice with us doing these trades in a simulated trading environment. But before we get into that, right, let me introduce myself. You probably can't see me, but that's okay. I mean, mo most of my videos, you'll see me. My name is Neil, and this is Option Theory. And, uh, you know, what we do here is we practice our mechanics, we build our skills, and we do so using Thinkorswim and the Paper Money Simulated Trading Platform. We get emails from Tasty Trade uh, every day, uh, every weekday, but four of the five days can tra contain trade ideas. Mondays, we're trying to make a move to have viewer suggested trades. So leave a comment below if you have a particular underlying stock ETF or whatever that you'd like to see a trade built in. All right, everybody, let's get on in and, uh, oh, I forgot to tell you, in the description below is where you'll find a link to sign up for Tasty Trades email blast. All right, a little off my game because I'm sitting in here in my dining room right now with an iPad. All right, here we go. Let's build the trade. So I've on screen here, the interface is a little different, right? You got this little drawer here that I can pull in and out. This is my watch list, right? If I want to, I could go in here and the ticker that we're going to be doing here is IBM. All right, once I type in IBM, I had previously done this just to get a little look at this, we can see the chart for IBM, and we can also see that, boy, it has gapped down, uh, right? Uh, I guess that's on earnings. You can see the volume spikes there. And now that it's dipped down to that 114 level, looks like it was it done something previously like that in May, in the June, May, middle of May, maybe. Right, so it seems to be on its way back up. So I could get bullish on this. Now that we're here, I'm gonna tap options here on the screen. It's gonna bring me here. And for you, it's probably going to be um, over here like this. It's probably gonna be default set to this, where you're gonna be able to buy or sell single options. Now you might think we're doing a vertical spread, so you might think that you'd wanna come in here and tap vertical, but it's just gonna give you dollar wide spreads on this one, right? So we're going to go back and tap this uh, where it says vertical, or for you it probably said single, right? I want to tap this. I want to go down to <clears throat> deep and wide, and we're going to go to one month and two strikes on that one. I think that's what we're going to do, and we're going to hit vertical, and there we are. So we're looking at December 4th, and we know from the cherry bomb emails that we get, we're going to buy the 115 and sell the 117. So I'm gonna tap on the ask, which is $1.90 here on this one, um, and here. Okay, now we can go ahead and verify that these look right. We're, we want the December weekly expiration, with which is 42 days to expiration, I believe, on this one. And uh, we wanted to buy the 115, sell the 117. You can see the plus one and minus one there. That's how many contracts I want to do on this one. And uh, <clears throat> we can also see that this is a very wide bid ask kind of thing here, where we're seeing the mid is at 93 cents, the natural is at $1.90. So, uh, you know, I'm not particularly uh, concerned that this trade's going to fill. You know, I'm not dying to have this trade on. It'll be interesting to see what happens. But right now we're buying one. You can see here you can adjust your quantity with this plus or minus, right? Uh, you can lock in that price by tapping the lock. And you have plenty of other really interesting options that you have here. Of course, if you wanted to put this in, in different your IRA or your margin, you could do that as well. Uh, you have other things here, conditions, where you can say, hey, I want to submit this at a certain time. So in some ways, I find this to be a little bit more intuitive and user-friendly than the desktop app. Now on the right hand side, you know, we would normally after we build the trade go into probabilities and we would do price slices and all that stuff. You don't get that same kind of 
fine-grained control here, right? You can see a risk graph over here, and uh, it's showing a 54% to the left of the break-even and a 46% to the right of that break-even on that one. So, yeah, you know, it's looking like the odds are against us for this trade, though that's not, I think, what we got as far as a P50. According to the email, the P50 for this trade was 66%, which I think is a pretty standard P50 for the uh, long debit verticals like this one. So, you know, we're going to we're going to go with that and uh, you know, we can't set these slices. There's no price slices or anything like that. You can go ahead and see there's a table, but that doesn't really help us here for this risk analysis. So, there we go. I want to go ahead and hit paper trade and that's going to allow me to confirm the max profit is a 107 max losses 93 that all depends on what we actually get filled at i'm going to go ahead and hit paper trade and that order was going it's sent it's in my working orders right now all right if you've made it this far into my video i want to give you your thumbs up thank you so much and uh you know if you feel that i've earned that thumbs up would you mind giving me a thumbs up as well that was it for this week i hope you had a profitable week i hope you enjoyed some of the trades and uh, if you have any underlying suggestions for Monday, I'd love to hear from you. If you don't want to leave a comment, you can send me an email. Head on over to optiontheory.com forward slash contact, and then I could uh, get your ideas there. All right, everybody. I'm going to try to successfully end this video now. Until next time, happy trading.